having problems with earnings with Admin2 Pro, then this video is for you. We will discuss how the system works and at each step what you can do in, to make sure you will get maximum rewards. Coming right up! First, the coffee. Hi, I'm Chris and in this channel we are going to talk about crypto while drinking coffee. Also a huge shout out to Feral Feather, for he is the one that created the guide for this workflow. The first thing about solving a problem is understanding it. And to do that, let's look at how Planet Watch works in our specific case. We have an Admitu Pro, which is not a miner. It's a full-blown air quality certified sensor produced by Atmotep. This sensor is designed to read air quality metrics so you can understand it and take measures. This sensor only has Bluetooth so in order to see the data we need to connect it to a phone. The phone, through PlanetWatch app, will collect this data from the sensor, patch the GPS location and periodically send the data to PlanetWatch. These data transfers are done through Algorand blockchain transfers. Then in order to send the data, the phone needs an internet connection. Most of us use Wi-Fi. The other option is through cell service, LTE, 4G, 5G. Once a day at 2 p.m. CAT time, Planet Watch will send a single transaction with the rewards. If you send all the data in the previous day, that means 144 transactions, you will get 23.04 planets. Planets are the utility token that you receive for sharing your air quality data with Planet Watch. You do not mine them. If you send less than 144 transactions, you will get the reward according to the number of transactions that you had. So to get max rewards, it all boils down to having a system that does not drop any transmissions. First, let's talk about the sensor part. Here, we need to have a correct power supply. A bad one will make the sensor unstable with the measuring, thus hinder our ability for max rewards. Adaptive amperage charger usually always work, well, since they adapt. Fixed voltage chargers works best between 1.2 amperes and 1 to 7 amperes, and anything in between. 1 amper does work sometimes too like this old iPhone charger that I am using. Lower than 1 amp and higher than 1.8 usually means problems with it in the wrong run. As a rule of thumb, when you connect the charger to the Atma tube, you want solid orange light. LED blinking in any color or a delay in getting a solid orange means that the charger is not good for the sensor. Another case when Atmotube will not work properly is if it gets too hot, so make sure to not let it in direct sunlight. Also, if the VOC is too high for too long, it will stop working. But then again, that means very polluted air and you better get out of there instead of worrying about your reward, because those are dangerous levels. Also, make sure that the mode is always on. To do that, we will go into settings mode always on the second piece is the phone and the one where will get the most problems if you don't get max rewards it is very likely from the phone first what is the ideal form for planned watch well we are looking at an android smartphone with android 10 quad core cpu 4 gigabytes of ram bluetooth le and gps you can get max rewards with less powerful phones, but here things are not guaranteed and they need the most attention to setting them up. Some phones that the community flagged as ok for the setup are Samsung S6, Samsung S7 and 8 and uh, Note 5. I used a Samsung J3 from 2017 and I have max rewards or near max rewards every day. Granted, I took all the steps in this video for optimization. Once you selected your phone, we need to start optimizing it. 
The first step is to make sure that we have the latest Android version. For this we will go to Settings, About Device, Software Update, Download Software Manually. Now that we verify that we have the latest update available, we need to turn on some features on the phone that we need for PlantWatch. Drag from the top and here make sure that we have turned on Bluetooth, GPS and one kind of data, either Wi-Fi or mobile data. I won't go into details on how to connect your Atmo tube to the phone and to PlantWatch. I already did it in my How to Earn Plants video. Link in the top right corner and in the description below. The only piece of advice regarding optimization is to not have both AdmoTube and PlantWatch apps open in the same time. So close the AdmoTube app and then in the notification center hit the stop on the AdmoTube notification service. One of the biggest enemy of this PlantWatch setup is application management on the phone. Because manufacturers want you to have a smooth experience while using the phone, they shut down apps in order to keep the RAM memory free and the battery charge last longer. We want the opposite. So let's start with the battery optimization. For that we will go into settings, battery. Here we need to make sure that power saving mode is turned off. Then ultra power saving mode is also off. The last part is to make sure that app optimization is also off. The next step is to make sure that any RAM optimization is turned off for this device. For my phone there isn't any, so make sure to check if your phone has one and where you can access it. Great! Now one way to make sure that the phone will not close the app is to have the screen always on. This is particularly important if you use a phone that has weaker specs that we already talked about in ideal phone section. For that we will try to do it in the simple way. Go to settings, display, screen timeout. Here we can see that the maximum screen on time is 10 minutes, not permanent. Most phones don't have the permanent option. Some people suggest installing some apps that will do that for you but my suggestion is to use the developer mode. Any kind of additional app will take resources from the phone and that is the opposite of what we are trying to do here. So the already built-in option is far better. To activate the developer mode, go to settings, about device, software info, then tap seven times on the build number. You will see a pop-up that will confirm the developer mode is turned on. Now we need to go back to settings and we will see the, the new developer option. Here we will switch the stay awake. So as long as you keep the phone charging, the phone will not close the screen nor the app. Exactly like we needed. So many steps, yet all of them are worth it. Since the phone acts as a bridge between the sensor and PlantWatch network, we need to verify the Bluetooth signal. Weak signal might hurt our transmissions of data, thus our reward. To verify it, we will go to Play Store and download Bluetooth Signal Strength Meter app. Once the app installs, open it and check the signal strength for AtmoTube. If it says anything else than excellent, we need to put the sensor closer to the phone. Another point of failure is the notification center, especially for weaker phones. If the notifications are stacking up, it might freeze the phone and our setup. So my suggestion is to remove all the notifications. To do that, we will go to Settings, Sounds and Notifications, App Notifications, then Block. And here we will select all the apps. The last optimization for our phone is to remove all the apps that we don't need. A smartphone with fewer apps is a faster one. To do that, we will go to Settings, Applications, Application Manager. And here we will uninstall any unnecessary app, or if they are default apps, we will disable them if we can. Now for the last part, the connection to PlanetWatch. Here, signal strength is also vital, so we need to verify it. 
if you use the cell tower you can check the signal of your carrier as you always have. For Wi-Fi, we will go once again to Play Store and download Wi-Fi Signal Strength Meter. Open the app after the installation, tap back and check the Wi-Fi signal. If it's not great, move the phone closer to the hotspot. So when we talk about connection between our setup and the PlanetWatch network, we need to talk about monitoring. The passive one involves Algo Explorer. I cover it in my Plant Watch earning video, link in the top right corner and in the description below. For that, on our computer we will go to algoexplorer.io, we will paste our Algorand wallet address. And here we will see all the transactions we have, the transmissions and the rewards. If you see a transmission once every 10 minutes, that's perfect. PlanetWatch changed the transmission rate from every 2 minutes to every 10 minutes a couple of days ago. Another thing that we can see is not only the rewards, but the number of transmissions that we had on the previous day. For that, select one of the rewards and here in the details, check for the streams. Right now, it still lists 720 transmissions as the ideal number for max rewards in the old system. It might change to 144 according to the new 10 minutes gap between the transmissions. So if you see 720 or 144 but not 23.04 planets, that's most likely a GPS problem. Remember at the beginning of the video that I told you that PlanetWatch requires not only air quality data but also the GPS coordinates of where does the readings are. If this is your case, contact the PlanetWatch support, link in the description. They will be able to point the problem, being no GPS data or anything else. The active way of monitoring involves a Telegram bot. For that, we will click on the bot link. Now we'll hit the start command. We'll copy this command and our Algorand wallet and hit enter. This will point the bot to our wallet, just like we did in the case of Algo Explorer. Now to activate the monitoring, we need to paste this special command. Again, all these are in the description below. This will tell the bot to monitor the transmission and if it doesn't see one every 11 minutes, it will send a notification. The best way is to install Telegram app on your main phone, with the same account, of course, and let the notifications on. This active monitoring will let you see when a transmission fails in order for you uh, to see if the, monitor, if the sensor is the problem, the phone or even your internet service provider. And because you can catch it in real time. That's it for this video. If you found this content useful, give it a thumbs up. It will help my channel a lot. If you want to find more about this project, tips and tricks, other sensors, planet watch news, then do subscribe to this channel. Also, if you use the links in the description, you will support me in creating these videos with no extra cost to you. Until next time, see ya!